which is started, and I will start this one too. <laughs> oh, hi. You're listening to the Five Gallon Podcast. Five Gallon Podcast. Once the volume control is set, do not readjust your station name here. Five Gallon Podcast. This is Five Gallon Podcast, bringing you the best of independent music from around the globe. Good afternoon, good morning, good evening, wherever you are and whatever you are. This is the Five Gallon Podcast. I'm Corey. Hi, I'm Harold. You are Harold. This is nice to talk to you again. Hello. Normally there's about a week in between you and I doing this, but this is great. Yeah, we cut our halftime. A little bit, yeah. Let's go down to Nashville, Tennessee and play a great band called Leagues. Tune called Walking Backwards. Only on the Five Gallon Podcast. Super Bowl! Yay! How you been, man? Muy guapo. Muy guapo? We're like really good looking? <laughs> 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 I'm glad. I'm glad. It's good to be good looking. I'm sorry. I've been watching uh, stand up today. Oh, uh, yes. You know, I just. I, go ahead. I, I'm, uh, I, I can't remember his name. Jim Galifax? Oh, Galifianakis. And this is. No, 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 not. Oh, Zach. Zach. No, okay. Snuffleupagus. All right. <laughs> Who are we talking about? This is a he's a really white guy. He's he's got uh he's a bit balding. Uh a bit of a stubble, a little bit chubby. Uh, I I can't really picture what he's been in. Are you describing me? Are you looking at a picture of me and just telling me what it looks like? I might be. I thought so. <laughs> Hokey doodles. Hokey Ooh. doodles. Well, so, this was a surprise. Yeah, well, I appreciate you coming on. You know, I'm just doing this a little bit early because, uh, you know, I've got... Well, comp- you want to watch some foosball. Yeah, I'm watching some foosball. I've got company coming over and uh, i got to do that thing. So I thought for some reason that the game... I'm confused. I thought the game was going to be on at like 3.30 our time, but I don't think that's the case at all. I think it's going to be like 5.30 or something here, so... Is it? Uh, I, I have no idea. I haven't... <laughs> I, do, I don't even know if I'm going to see it. Yeah, it's my understanding too. These things are four hours. I, I don't. I don't have four hours to do anything, <laughs> let alone sit around and watch football. But I'll make it work. There could be beer and chips. That's good. <laughs> oh. 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 Ah. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna do beer. I don't know. Apparently, there's no wings in the in, in the northwestern hemisphere. So, <laughs> you know why? There was a there was a wing heist in the states. Wing heist. A wing heist. Yeah, somebody broke into one of the biggest uh, providers of chicken wings warehouses about a week and a half ago, and stole something like fifty eight thousand pounds of chicken wings. Or, no, fifty eight thousand tons of chicken wings. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. How do, you, how do you how do you do that? I don't know. You know, it's probably the Koreans. My guess. <laughs> we want our pets back. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> oh shit. <sighs> so how's the working out going? It's good. You know what? I feel like shit. Uh, I feel like shit <laughs> all the time, pretty much. How do you feel? But you feel great after we're gonna No, no, I don't at all. No, I feel tired and sore and shitty. And the next day I feel sore and shitty. But you why, know, why do they have mirrors in, in Oh I know. Gym? I'm just going to look at myself while I talk to myself while I work on myself. I'm totally gonna start working out at curves because <laughs> they don't have mirrors there. <laughs> oh, I mean, maybe they should offer uh, temporary cameras. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> right. Pictures of your progress. Yeah, a bunch of Polaroids that they they email you pictures of yourself and how you're doing. That'd be great. Nobody wants to see, anybody that's really going for the, to the gym for for a serious reason doesn't want to see themselves. That's it. Okay, I want to talk about this coming back. 
<laughs> Stand by. What? Five Gallon it's Podcast. Amazing, huh? Wow. We're balls deep in independent music. Chatting during the break here with my friend Harry. Uh, you can always watch the behind the scenes making of these shows to see what we talk about in between these tunes at fivegallonsound.com slash live. We're talking about my working out, <clears throat> and I don't mean going out of the house and getting the job. I mean, actually, you know, pumping irons. <laughs> and Harry's got a good point about mirrors, right? Yes. Why are the freaking mirrors? I know. I was, like I said, I'm going to go work out of curves where they don't have mirrors. That's the policy because I don't want to see myself while I'm doing it. Well, you see, yeah, the, it, for the for the average person that actually is going there for a serious reason, they, yeah, you're, you're not at any point yet where you want to see yourself doing any of that stuff. I think there's a series of things in life that you don't need to see yourself doing. One of them is working out. Another one's clearly pooping. When you're dropping down a spike, <laughs> that's not something you need to watch yourself do, right? <laughs> And I'm going to guess the last one would be sleeping. Mm-hmm. Hmm? Anyway, let's go down to Brooklyn, New York. No. Off the Lucius self-titled EP, this is Lucius. Great cut called Genevieve on the 5-Gallon Podcast. Have you ever, ever gone into a bathroom where there's like a mirror that you can see yourself? The whole, the whole wall is a mirror? Yeah, like at the really high price hotels? Yeah, so you're sitting yeah, you're there. <laughs> there you are. Love it. <laughs> you're driving a steak into the bowl, and then all of a sudden, you know, you look That's over. That's how scary I look. <laughs> I, it's just, it's, you know, nobody, looks, nobody like. looks good with their pants down sitting on something. Nobody. No man, at least. women. Some women do, but men look terrible. Like no, and, and, and your face is all scrunched up because you're dropping out the Empire State Building. That's right. <laughs> and too, now now that I live on now I live on the beach, right? So I go out, you know, all the time and I've got the the board short tan now. Oh, around your knees? Well, no, just uh, I mean that whole white area that goes from the waist to the knees. Yeah. Right where that's that's still the only part of me that's still Canadian. <laughs> you know. <laughs> And, and you know when you're sitting there and you're you're looking at yourself in the mirror, under that circumstance, then you got like this white hairy part of your body. It's just not good, man. It's not good. I'm so pretty. <laughs> you know the thing I found about working out though is that you know how you, when you decide you're going to do something or make a change, and for the first like you know six or seven weeks it's really hard because you want to do it it's like it's like when you quit yeah. smoking or something you know well i'm, I'm usually like oh, i'm gonna work out i'm getting all slicked about this i'm all pumped first day you do it and i'm gonna i don't need to do this today i'll just work out every other day that's it yeah then the third day comes around and says ah this sucks i quit mm -hmm. <laughs> that's exactly right or what happens is that you start working out, I found, and then I get tired or I get sore and I get angry and I get hungry and it's like, damn it, why am I even doing this? Who cares? But that's that's the stuff that starts going through your head, right? Ah, oh, fuck it, I'm a lost cause. Yeah, exactly. It's too late. I mean, uh, to hell with it. I'm 37. I'm almost, I'm almost 40. Screw this shit. That's right. What's the difference? I still get laid. I got a good job. I feel fine. <laughs> Whatever. I don't need to do this shit. And then that's it. You give up. I'm not doing it, so I made it, myself a promise. I, it, it must be February. All the all the the New Year's resolutions are starting to wear off. That's right. That's right. <laughs> I'm just gonna keep going. I'm gonna, I promise myself I'll do it for six weeks. Three days on, one day off for six weeks. And I said, look, at the end of six weeks, if you don't see or feel any real results, go ahead and drop it and move on with your life. <laughs> but I'm gonna go for the six weeks. But I know what's going to happen at the end of it. I'll feel great. I'll look better. And I'll just keep going. There you go. You just create What's a habit. With that? Yeah. Stand by. Is there? Here we go. Congratulations. <laughs> interrupt this program. Your imagination is having puppies. Let's do it. I'm ready. Yes, it's uh, the stick to right? That's the key. <laughs> yes, it's pain upon pain. That's that's where you actually start to do do serious business. If you can if you can hang on to something for go? I think I don't I think it's six weeks and then then you've established a pattern that that says look this is now what I do this is who I am. It's probably a good 
good insight. I got a really long delay on you there, Harry. Are you watching a video while you're doing this? Are you watching movies on the internet? I am not watching movies, but <laughs> I feel like there is a long delay. Maybe my Skype is screwing with me again. You know, you, we, have a, we have a huge gap in there, but it's nice because in between, what I'll do is I'm just going to put in post some cricket sounds. That's always fun. <laughs> <laughs> I like crickets. All right. Like I said, short segments sport. today. I got I to gotta jump into another tune here because I uh, got to pay the bills by playing all this music. One of my favorite groups out of Queens, New York. This is Freelance Wales. Tune called The Nothing. Oh. Ironic. Oh, because, oh, that's nice. I like how you jump in with that. I fucked it up, though. Now do it again. On the Five Gallon Podcast. That's pretty good. <laughs> Do you want to try a reboot on the Skype call? Yeah, let's do that. All right, call me back. Enter. Sometimes I, I forget I have to answer. Hello? <laughs> is that better? Uh, let me see. I'm gonna count to I'm gonna count to five, and you're gonna pick up the count. I'll count to five, and then you go for six. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's not seven. too bad. Okay. Not quite, quite as clear as you were, but uh, yeah, it's I don't know. I don't know either. Skype is uh, it's a pain in the ass. Got an odd thing going on with my audio devices too, where every time I hook up my my microphone, it starts me off at half volume. Oh, interesting. <laughs> Skype does that, or you, or what, what does That's that? That's my computer doing that now. Mm. It's time. a new thing. I love new things. I love when computers decide. I think we talked about this. Yes. You know, today I'm going to do something different than I did yesterday. Yes. Just because. I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm just going to do it because you suck. <laughs> you don't know what you're doing here, yeah. and I do. <laughs> Except the problem is, I think we oh. we know what we're doing. Computers don't. That's true. That's my thought. I well, except sometimes. Apparently, Monday night, I uh, I just started finding my receipts in the mail from iTunes after your show last Monday night or Sunday. No, wait, was it Monday night? Yeah, it was Monday night. Mm -hmm. I uh, I had a little bit of fun here. What and, happened? Uh, apparently, I downloaded something like fourteen to fifteen albums. Albums. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Whoops. Yep. Big whoops. <laughs> Good records or what? Yeah, well, I got down to, uh, onto a kick after our show last last week. Uh, our, like, uh, our show two weeks ago. Or maybe maybe it had to do with your show Sunday night. I can't remember now. It's all kind of hot, foggy and hazy over here. Mm. But uh, I got onto a David Bowie kick, and then I got onto a Frank Zappa kick. And then I had a few too many, and then I hit iTunes store. Never drink and go to the iTunes music store. Oh. <gasps> Oh. Never, 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 never. Sorry, credit card. <laughs> <laughs> why don't you? Why don't you sign up for eMusic? I should. I don't know why you wouldn't. Because uh, I do. I pay. I pay for a, I think a gold plan, and it's about twenty bucks a month, and I get a lot of great tunes. I mean, it's 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 all yeah. there's a ton of indie. That's the thing, right? It's not. There is some commercial stuff. If you want the commercial stuff, I go to iTunes, but. Yeah, see, I'm buying. Yeah, I guess I'm more. I spend more time on iTunes because I'm, I'm buying requests and whatnot for my other job on the weekends. Yeah, I gotcha. And you know, of course, specifics like I we got into the big discussion over Bowie over the last couple episodes, and I really wanted some older stuff, and I, I I've never actually owned any older stuff. So what do you? But Ziggy and Space Oddity and uh, Low. Station to station. Do you have uh, Do you have Spotify in Canada? I'm not sure. Oh my god. Okay, because if you're like if you listen to a lot of commercial music, you should just get a Spotify subscription. Really? Oh yeah. Ooh. How does that work? I will explain it to you after this uh, segment. How's that? Ten for ten for what are we gonna talk about? We need too many topics. Uh. 
From Queens, New York, Freelance Whale is one of my favorite groups. If you like any of these bands, do me a favor, go over to 5gallonpodcast.com slash... Wait, what's the what's the web address again? <laughs> www.5gallonsound.com slash podcast. podcast. That's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. HTTP colon forward slash forward slash www dot also over there you can find a uh, an internet web log or blog for short <laughs> you want to talk about mcdonald's i don't go anymore speaking of colons <laughs> <laughs> yeah really oh, man I, I haven't been to mcdonald's in a long time yeah. i went for the first time this week in probably months and i still get embarrassed when i go in there all right, let's talk about that when we get back. From Pickering, Ontario, holy cow. I'm going to get the hip hop and Canada out of the way all at once. This is Manifest, a remix done by DJ Kubix. Impossible. On the five gallon park. Nice. No, oh, you're in. That was perfect. That was good. I loved it. <laughs> How long is this track? Uh, you got a while if you want to take a break. All right, I'm going to grab a quick dirt. Yeah, I can cover. Okay. Oh, What's that? Do you even have a McDonald's in Hako? No. No, and that's great. We have like a, we got a Quiznos. We got a Subway. got a Pizza Hut. Uh, Kentucky Fried Chicken. Uh, that's, I think that's Kentucky it for the Belgium. franchises. No. No. That's all right. Uh, it's better I, for me. I haven't been to McDonald's in so long. I, and I was just, oh, oh, I want to bake a double cheeseburger. Sometimes you just got to have it. I know the feeling. And, uh, you know, I love it. I love it. Can I get a bacon double cheeseburger? I know. Sorry, sir. We don't sell bacon double cheeseburgers. Like I'm like, uh, do you sell double cheeseburgers? Yeah. Do you sell bacon? Yeah. Put the fucking bacon on the double cheeseburger. Make that shit for me. You're dead on. <laughs> You're dead on. Jesus. Oh, oh excuse me. Um, yeah, it's good, though, because when I, when I go into San Jose now, I always go to Wendy's. Oh, I love the Wendy's. And just because I mean, it's disgusting, but I go get one of those baconators. It's just because fuck, that's so good. I'm not 
I'm I'm not right. I'm not into the Baconator as much as it was when it first came out. I'm, I don't know if I like the ketchup on it. Hmm, that's a good point. I I, I I I tried it once without the ketchup, and I got the mustard. I put mustard on it, mm-hmm. and I thought that was pretty good. You know, what I'm craving is uh, lately Arby's. I don't know why. Well, I've never actually been to an Arby's. You and I are going to go to Arby's when I'm home next. <laughs> That's what we're going to do. We're going to smoke a big doobie and go to Arby's. <laughs> do you know what I like at Wendy's? Uh, uh, of course, the bacon deluxe. Right. But I crave it every year when I, and I wait for it the rest of the year is the bacon mushroom melt. Oh, stand by on that. This is a terrible conversation we're having during the songs. Talking about McDonald's and bacon cheeseburgers and stuff. This is brutal, man. <laughs> we can't do you. this. You know what I'm going to do here? Uh, coming up next is the mail sack segment. But uh, I think the question that's been asked here is better asked of you. All right, so let's reach down. Okay. You've got some mail. You've got mail. Number 10 on the letter I've been reading from. It's in two parts. Part A, do you have a good sense of direction? Part B, do you like reading maps? Harry, do you want to take A? <laughs> sure, I'll take A. Now, I'm talking about you or am I talking about me? Talking about me. Talking about you. Well, I do remember one time we were on our way home from the lake. <laughs> uh-huh. And uh, I think you got a little smart with me over something. So I thought, okay, you tell you tell me which way to go to get back to Listowel. And, and it's not really hard to go from the lake to Listowel because it's only one highway. And um, so you recommended that I turn right. And I said, oh, I'm going to go see the boats, are we? <laughs> yeah. And uh, you, you were a little snide with me early on. And then you got madder and madder. And I kept making this reference to the boats. We were on our way to God Ray. <laughs> so I can't even I can't even get down to the end of a straight highway. <laughs> There's your answer. I do love maps. Anyway, out of an undisclosed location in Michigan, this is Frontier Ruckus. Great tune called If the Sun Collapse. On the Five Gallon Podcast. Oh, oh sorry. Oh, yeah. oh, yes. oh, I was gonna let you have it that time too. Like, no, he's gonna let oh, me have it. Oh, I was gonna give it to you. <laughs> and then I took it away. <laughs> I think though, uh, I think my buddy's coming over this afternoon, and uh, we're gonna just we're gonna barbecue up some stuff. So that that'll that'll fill me. <laughs> barbecue. I gotta get fluid for my barbecue mm. fuel. Hopefully he gets. Uh, hopefully he calls and say, "What should I get?" Oh yes, I that's always him. nice, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, you, a little of this, a little of that. Yeah. There's nothing worse than when a guy shows up for to just barbecue at your house and he brings like just you know crap. Coconuts. <laughs> oh, yeah, here's some coconuts and a pineapple. It's like, oh, great. There's uh, Well, the pineapple's good. I grill pineapple quite a bit. That's that's delicious. Sure. It is. But, sure uh, it is. yeah. I'm hoping he brings some sort of substantial amount of beef because I'm, I'm needing protein right now. Eat fire good. Yes. I'm getting, I'm getting so confused now. I had to do two other uh, shows this morning. You know, interviews and tape stuff and everything. So I, I just forget what I'm doing now. Mm. I Oh, I listened to the, the Tim and Scott show there. Scott, after Scott our and Tim. Show on oh, yeah, Thursday. yeah, yeah. Yeah. I noticed they liked our page, so I thought I'd check it out. Mm-hmm. It's hard to find their show. It is hard to find their show. Yeah, I don't know what the situation is now. They they were on... I know they're on local radio in Alabama. I'm pretty sure they're doing one of the stations there. But for a while, they were up on the bird. They were doing satellite radio. And now I don't know. I don't know what they're doing. Found them on... Uh, I can't remember what the network's called. Wire As or something. Okay. Um, but they do an overnight show. And I caught I caught the last 20 minutes of it because, of course, they're on Central Time and I'm on Eastern Time. Daylight savings, not daylight savings. <laughs> Come on, Eastern daylight savings, whatever. Let's move that ahead. Yeah. Screw one hour. Let's do it five hours early. Save a lot of hookups with some scary women. So I don't walk know, out like, of the bar at two in the morning. So you were listening to them live. Yeah. Oh, okay. So I don't know where you. You got to show me where you found the link over to that because there was one time I thought well, that was one of my beefs. It's like I don't think their their content is very easily accessible. It was not. It was a lot of work, and it's going to take me just as much work to find it again, I think. Yeah, sure. Unless I bookmarked it, which I don't think. You know, I like when you can go to a website, and you can click a button, and then you can listen to a show. 
Yes. I think that's that's pretty hip. <laughs> Makes <laughs> sense. And you know, the way the way everything is nowadays, nobody nobody wants to scroll or anything through a page. So no, you gotta have it right up there at the top. I don't have time to search shit out. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's. Uh, I'm gonna roll into the segment here. This is the bag to bag doing uh, nine inch nails, two off the spiral downward. Gotta love it. Yeah. Stand by, Harold. Your music education. Oh, no, Harold. Let's get together. People in the south yell at each other a lot. Let's yell for the rest of the show. <laughs> we should. Okay. So Harry and I have been uh, listening to a lot of David Bowie lately. Yes, David Bowie rocks. More but do you know what I really like? Do you, who do you really like or what? Nine Inch Nails. It's funny because Outside and Earthling were both sort of inspired by what Trent Reznor was doing with Jungle Beats at the time. That is true. Should, should, should we be yelling in, in Southern accents? Wouldn't that be better? All right. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to play some Marsha Pigs. You should don't do that or do that. That's some good shit there. Followed by the Johnny Cash cover. Johnny hurt. Cash cover? Oh, you mean hurt? I mean hurt. Hurt. Why does it hurt when I pee? On the five gallon parkers. <laughs> How come we don't have a yelling segment in Southern accents on our show? <laughs> well, I guess I just thought of it. That's a good idea. That should be uh, all set. I'll do a little stab. How's my how's my levels over there? Because I don't I don't see my levels when I'm doing that. That was fine. Absolutely okay. fine. I I, ri I can ride your fader if I need to. Okay. All right. This is a bag to bag, so I'm gonna go take a little bit of a break. Reload my my tea with some water or something. All right. I'll be right back. I'll be back to you. You be rock on and off. Hmm. Seen the new I fucking love science picture they just posted? Focus on the only thing that's real. 
with the time in there. Whoa. delay hello 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 skype really sucks today uh you know what it is it's sunday super bowl day i'll bet you a ton of people are using skype mm. servers everywhere sure guess what this is uh celery yeah <laughs> good time i feel that sound anywhere <laughs> uh, you know i made a i gotta say i made a veggie pizza today really and it was pretty fucking amazing actually what kind of veggie? Well, I, I started, I did, uh, I didn't use a crust. I used a tortilla, first of all. Okay. And then I, I, I uh, did a little saucepan with olive oil, garlic, and parsley and salt. So that what I did then is I used that to kind of coat the, the base of the tortilla. Mm -hmm. Then sliced fresh tomato, zucchini, spinach, red onion, red pepper, and then I put chili flakes and Parmesan cheese and, and pepper. Mm. It was delicious. I thought, well, this is going to taste like fucking rabbit food. Land. Yeah. <laughs> put it in the oven and then the tortilla puffed up and then got all crispy. Yep. It was fucking salty, savory, delicious. So it was amazing. I made ch barbecue chicken pizza last night on a thin mm. crust. I love thin crusts. I know. Me too. You know, I love more than barbecue chicken pizza. Buffalo chicken pizza. Really? You ever had oh, it? No, but now I want a buffalo chicken sandwich. Oh, those are so fucking good. I, when I was working at the bar, I'd always make myself one of those on a Thursday night when I was working myself up by myself. Yep. I could oh. eat buffalo anything. Buffalo fucking cornflakes in the morning. Delicious. Oh. I just love Tabasco sauce, and especially the habanero now. Oh, I'm going nuts. I'm already halfway through my new my bottle. I had a bottle of Tabasco on my fridge for probably a couple of years. I never even opened it, the box, to even look at it. But it smoked mm. Tabasco. Mm-hmm. Mm mm-hmm. Oh, my God. It's that good stuff. Well, I go down to Los Amigos now, and I get the taco bowl, where they take a yep. tortilla, and they, they fry it up into a bowl, and they, they put all the... It's fucking delicious. But they bring out a, a rack of five different types of Tabasco. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my god. So delicious. I love it on my eggs. Mm, yeah, me too. Me too. Huevos rancheros. Huevos rancheros. Huevos rancheros. That's my favorite. Yeah. Mm. Mm, I like food. Mm -hmm. I, I really hope Andre calls me because I don't want him. I, there's, uh, you know, the, the Auto Mercado, which is the, the kind of high end grocery store here. I don't know if you remember it or not. Uh, not, not, we didn't, did we hit the grocery store in Hako? Mm, no, but we, there's one that was where, close to where I live that we've, we've, we'd gone to. Okay. And it's one where it was like, it was sort of like a normal grocery store anyway. Um, yep. they make these, they make hamburgers there that are out of this world. Really? Pre-made fresh, but they, I don't know how they season them or what they're putting in it, but they're, they're just so good. Like I, I love making my own hamburgers. I know you do too. Yes, but these guys do it so well, and it's just like right off the shelf, delicious. So, I'm gonna suggest he brings those. Oh, I'm gonna stop talking about food. Oh bacon. my god! You know I've never made down here. What's that? Bacon burger dog. Oh, I haven't made one in ages either. 
Let's oh, see. I found a uh, Facebook page called uh, Oh Totally Ma- Total Man or something. Total Man. They're, they're doing a big expo at uh, Bingman's uh, next weekend. Anyways, I found a I found a a link and I posted it on my Facebook page. Uh, uh, steel ice cubes. Like oh my god, that's a good idea. Yep. And then they're called Moinks. Moink balls. Stand by. Love me some Trent Reznor. Going back to one of my favorite of his records. But I mean, everything he does is pretty good. It's all great, Corey. <laughs> He's an old man now. He's like us. He's old. We're all old now. That's what happens when the sun keeps shining. Isn't that the truth? We got to figure out something to do awkwardly here for like 30 seconds. Any ideas? <laughs> we could talk in a southern accent really loud for another <laughs> minute. <laughs> all right. <laughs> this is uh, two guys talking on Skype in southern accents really loud for 30 seconds on the internet. Yeah, sir. I don't. No, that wasn't. Wait. How are we going to both talk at the same time and hear each <laughs> other, too? I don't know. I, why, why did I lose? I can't do the accent anymore. Hang on. Time call. Wait. Wait. Difficult words, Corey. It's hard to... No, I'm trying to do... Uh, now I'm doing an Australian. Wasn't I supposed to do... <laughs> oh, shit. Mexican-Canadian. I'm doing Mexican-Canadian again. Moink. <laughs> moink. <laughs> moink. Moink. <laughs> Damn it. Why is that? I can't, like, call up an accent on demand. <laughs> Wow, that was awkward. That was 30 seconds, two guys yelling accents at each other over Skype. <laughs> My friend had me to, uh, to do a deaf accent the other night. <laughs> it, it's really hard for me to do, but it's fun. Oh, I'm over here, <laughs> Oh, God. From Gainesville, Florida. I came across this great record. Academy Songs Volume 1 is what it's called. The band is Hollow Paw. <laughs> God. On the five gallon sound podcast. <laughs> I gotta get an email about that one. Thank you. I can't, uh, I don't know why. Why can't I? Why did I just, I couldn't, all of a sudden, my, my mouth and body wouldn't do an accent. <laughs> Accents are funny. It's just like the other night. I was I was doing something, and then it turned into Marvin the Martian. Like I've never done Marvin the Martian in my life before. <laughs> and anyways, my link, my link. It's got moink balls on the on the on the picture, but uh, it's twelve over the top ideas for the grill. My God, man! From Caesar salad to Twinkies on the barbecue. Barbecue Twinkies. Dude, I don't know. That sounds crazy. It's it's crazy looking good, but unfortunately they don't make Twinkies no more. Well, they do. I thought they still make them. They just do they. They're, yeah, they're not sure who's going to end up buying that company because the, the company's in trouble. They need to buy, they need to be bought out, but nobody wants to buy them. Is that Hostess? Uh, yeah, I think it's Hostess is the company. Okay. See, I'm not familiar. Like being in Canada, we we don't uh, Twinkies aren't really a thing here. It's more of an American thing, right? Yeah, but doesn't doesn't like Little Debbie or something make a, a Twinkie like product in Canada? Yes, that's right. Or you could use Moon Pies. Moon Pies. Yes, but a moink ball is like a Swedish meatball wrapped in bacon. You do it on the grill. Oh my God! What a good idea. Uh, no, I get it. Moink. <laughs> moink, 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 moink. Moink balls. Huh. Do you know what a bee bender is? A what? A bee bender. A bee, a P or a bee? B as in Bartman. No. Oh, like a like a telecaster, bee, like a telecaster either. bee bender. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Oh, yeah. I did. I had no idea. Oh, yes. I want one. Well, yeah. A lot of those, like a lot of those great old Led Zeppelin tunes, were done with a telly B bender. They didn't. They, they didn't have B benders back then. Yeah, they did. B bender's been around they? for a long time. That's an old country instrument. Yes, that's right. Yeah. yeah. All the country twangers used to used to do it. You can get it on an acoustic guitar now. Washburn has it on on acoustics. Wow, that's scary. Yeah, they had it. They hosted it at Nam. Wow, wow, Just, wow, that's scary. Let me look up here. I'm going to see... Um, let, me ask the, let me ask the internet. 
Led Zeppelin. Finally saw the trailer to Sound City, too. Oh, really? Yeah. I think I delivered them a resume when we were in L.A. I found the definitive B-Bender telly song list, <laughs> which is great. Oh, yeah. Yeah. What's on it? Uh, I'm just kind of going through it here. A lot of songs I don't know. Yeah, it'll be all country. Yeah. Hot one. I love how it goes. And now they make them that they'll go up two whole steps. You can go from the B to the the D. Oh, that's right. All of my love by Led Zeppelin. Okay. Think about that guitar part for a minute. Yep, I am. I already pictured it once you once you you pointed it out. Yeah. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's a pretty cool device. It's a great idea. Oh, sure it is. I, like, I, I'd never heard of it. But my friend Katie from Alabama, she she posted her friend's video where he's playing an acoustic, a Washburn acoustic with one on it. And I'm like, how is he doing that? I don't see him. I don't see him doing anything with his hands. Anything different, right? Right. So I asked, what the hell is that? So then I Google searched it. Well, I got to see that thing. It's in the... Hmm. Huh. Let me see. <laughs> Let me I love the picture. On, I love. I fucking love science's Facebook page right now. <laughs> I don't think you understand the gravity of the situation. <laughs> oh, I think I do. All right, I found the Washburn acoustic B bender. Did you? Yeah, yeah. Fucking voice search on Google is just the best. I don't type anything anymore. Why? Why would you? I don't. I don't know. Amazing. Hang on, hang on. Somebody got my hopes up. I thought Van Halen was doing the halftime show. Tonight. Van Halen? Who told you Van? I Halen? thought they were. They're not. They're not. <laughs> Somebody's playing with you, boy. Oh shit, we're back. <laughs> Sorry Did about you? that. I think it's Justin Timberlake. And uh, oh, that's that. He's your favorite. He is my favorite. I I really liked the. Uh, that was my favorite birthday I ever had when we all went up to uh, Harrison Legion for. For karaoke for my birthday really and you you walked down the tables and sang justin just timberlake i did it pretty well too <laughs> it was good I, I don't pull that out very often <laughs> i think destiny's child is going to be there tonight as well yay yeah i know i, I don't i don't really care i kind of do i guess in that it's inter interesting to see like what a million people or a billion people or however many people watch are doing at the same time because that's something mm -hmm. whatever yeah yeah so what Oh, this is a request from a guy who wrote it <laughs> from Orange County, California, off the new Breach record. This is Sam Page. Great cut called Hold On on the Five Count Podcast. I don't know why I'm feeling strange. Song submission. Um, let's see. Unruly passengers divert Halifax flight, Halifax flight to Bermuda. Ooh, that sucks. Let me find that sound. Uh, Is that you? Did you do that? Yeah. Oh, don't do that. <laughs> that sounds like feedback. <laughs> Please. Please and thank you. I didn't mean to feed it. No, I, I didn't don't. know it fed. Uh, let me see if I can pull this up. Oh, there's some dickweed playing in the background. Here, I'll find you a link. I got, I got one here. There's, there's a bunch. It's just that particular YouTube video was terrible. I got a decent uh, link to my friends. Friend. It's Hi, nice. Kids. Mario here with 
the one, the only, the world's. This guy's got a ball cap and a beard. He's got to know what he's doing. Yeah, you heard me right. <laughs> yeah, I want this guitar now. That's the telly? No, no, this is the acoustic the B bender Washburn. Washburn? Yeah. Kimsey, uh, who gave me a lot of advice, told me the throws and what they wanted, what they didn't want in a B bender. Uh, we got her done. Took about 10 months. A lot of frustration at times. Oh, this is a handmade one. He did this himself. Well, sure enough. We well, it's, that's how they first started, right? Obviously. Yeah. The first handmade. We have ourselves a B bender. Everything's contained within the neck block and the neck. Nothing touches the top, back sides. I'm going to ask him to shut up and go to another video yeah. here. What, here, uh, search B-Bender Bounce, Kevin Lamb. Okay, let me watch this electric B-Bender one first, and then I'll look for that. <laughs> Ow! All right, we're down to the side back, boy! Sorry. Hey guys, uh, I just finished up a really super duper cool B Bender exclusive super video duper called cool. Super Duper B Bender exclusive. <laughs> There's my accent. <laughs> there we go. Fire me over that link in the robot if you can, and then I'll take right. a look at it. All right, where the heck are we? Doing? How do I do that? How do I switch screen? Drag that with it. Oh, okay, I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. You can do probably like a four finger, three finger swipe on your mouse pad. You know that? Yeah, but I can't hold on to the target. But I got it. Here you go. Oh, okay. All right. Where are we here? God, this is like. It should be in your Skype now. I see it. I see it. Please stand by. from our new production facility located in beautiful. Baby Costa Rica. Welcome to the jungle, baby. Great cut there by Sam Page. If you guys want to hear your tune on here, send it in. 5 podcast at gmail.com and I may or may not listen to it. <laughs> <laughs> no promises. <laughs> I'm a busy nope. guy. <laughs> you might just pass it on to me. Yeah. I Now I, I officially want a Washburn acoustic B-Bender guitar. Dude, you can't say that. I wanted one first. Well, this doesn't mean that I can't want one too. You can't be the you can't be the only guy. I can be the only. No, no, no. <laughs> I wanted one first, so you can't want one. There's no rights to exclusivity of wanting something. Yep, I want it. <laughs> yeah, I understand if you said if you bought one first and then I bought one, you could call me a copycat all day long. <laughs> but you can't call me a copycat for wanting the same actually, thing. Actually. You know what? I want the telly B bender instead. Oh, that's I'd what I wanted. Like I was trying to, <laughs> I'm trying to psych you out and get you to buy the acoustic. <laughs> oh man! I'm that's... not twelve anymore, Corey. <laughs> that's a point for argument on another show, another day. <laughs> man, oh man! You know what I need to do here is play another song. Do it. It's my job. What? Oh, I know this record. Ecstasis, this is great. All right, this is Julia Holter. She's out of Los Angeles. It's a weird little cut called In the Same Room. On the Five Gallon Podcast! It's on the Five Gallon Podcast! I don't know why I don't have teeth all of a sudden. I don't have teeth. I'm yelling without teeth in Alabama. I don't think I could do an Alabama accent if I wanted to. And I'm sorry, Katie's from Louisiana. 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 Let me click on this <laughs> link here. Hang on. <sighs> Two mutual friends. The F for you. Johnny. Hang on, Johnny. Play this better. Copy can't. I know. Oh my god. It's 
it's like it, it has a southern accent itself. It do, it does. It's got a little bit of a, a southern drawl to it. A, I like a guitar that. with a southern drawl. That's hot, man. I'm gonna get one of those. <laughs> Fuck. Wow, wow, wow. Jeez, McGee. Oh man. <laughs> So I think the, um, I'm looking for, you know what I think I might do on Thursday night? What's that? Uh, so, you know, we were talking about how I think I'm going to become a pothead. I'm going to go out and buy dope and <laughs> start well, smoking you, dope, right? Not so much a pothead because that constitutes smoking pot all day, but you're going to okay. start relaxing in the evening with a doobie or a half. Yeah. I'm going to have like a little couple puffs off of, of a marijuana cigarette. Yeah. And you know what I was thinking of doing? I don't know, man. I might, I might do it during the during during haircore and the more. That's fine. I might might do a little bit of doob and see what do, happens. Do some doob in the more. Yeah, <laughs> that'd be good. I, oh, that's a good show right there. Doob in the more. <laughs> doob in the more. Doob in the more. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna do a bunch of rails. <laughs> that's a good idea. We should just get smacked. <laughs> Fuck it, I'm sticking a needle in. <laughs> yeah, do it, man. Just find the track. Get nods during the show. <laughs> get on the train. Yeah, that would be funny if we just got like slobbering wrecked. And then we didn't show up for work for like a week. And we just, we leave the camera rolling like just for a week. It's. <laughs> I want to get one of those GoPro cams. Have you seen those? Oh, uh, GoPro cams? Yeah, cameras, yeah. Where they attach uh, to anything like a helmet or a surfboard or stuff. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah, you need one of those for sure. I know. All right, final thoughts, segment, whatever. Stand by, please. For more information on this podcast and all the latest news from the Five Gallon Empire, simply visit fivegallonsound.com. We have cookies. And so it ends. Yet another wonderful episode of the Five Gallon Podcast. Why don't I roll over to Harry for his final thoughts of the night? Don't sell into the corporosity of the, of it all, and, <laughs> and don't let your meatloaf. <laughs> I say let your meatloaf. That's what I say. <laughs> anyway, this is episode one hundred and forty eight, which means that we are fast closing in on episode one hundred and fifty. The all request episode of this particular podcast. I've got a lot of submissions in. I think I've got a show almost together, but there's two more episodes left. This one and the next. Yeah. Go ahead and get those uh, submissions in, and I'll take a look at them and put together uh, 11 cuts. Pick me, not Woody. Also on the Facebook page, uh, we do have a little poll and survey there, of course. Many people have written in already and said who they want the host to be. Some have written in they don't want me to be on the show. <laughs> oh, really? So rude. Sure. How I rude. Know, I know. But I understand. I love you. It's adorable. The uh, the cool part is, though, is if you want to go over to Facebook and, uh, and and take the poll, uh, you can go ahead and add a potential host, or you can click on the ones that are already there. Yeah. Pick me. Not Woody. Got to thank the folks over at emusic.com for their support. At 5gallonsound.com slash podcast, you're going to find links to many of these songs, the majority of which can be find on, found on emusic.com. There's a little buy link there. But uh, before you do that, if you've not signed up for emusic, it's a great little banner right beside the player. Click on that. You get a $10 coupon when you sign up. And I get six bucks. And I like that because that buys like, that's almost five beer right there. That's pretty good. Also, if you do online invoicing like I do, freshbooks.com is the way to do it. You'll find a link on my website to do it over there too. <laughs> I just, I just want to go. I just want to go take a nap. <sighs> Gotta go get some beer. I know. This is Ron Miles doing the voom voom. <laughs> fuck off, everybody. <laughs> I can't say anything. Oh, it's a, just fuck it. Let's go away. <laughs> I love you, Corey. I love you too. Uh, another weird one. Yep. 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 You know what I love about these shows is that when you you do a show like that, it's like, oh, that wasn't really any good. <laughs> and then you go, you edit the show together, and you go about your day, and then maybe a day or two later, you have a chance that you're sitting by the pool, and you load it up, and you listen to it. It's like, that was good. Good show. Well, I 
you're, you're just, I, I, like, I'm used to the pace of our, our show, right? Yeah. So it, it, to do your show, it, it's like always like I'm stuttering and I'm, you know, I just can't get the words in. In time. <laughs> I know because well this this particular one, the, the talkie segments are super short. That's the technical radio term, by the way, talkie segments. Ah. Uh-huh. Yeah, there's a, like little short segments this week because some of the songs are very long. But uh, that's I think that's why we're gonna do the episode uh one fifty point five, yeah. Uh, yeah, makes sense. So it's just makes gonna sense. be an hour of talk. Right it's gonna be good. Well, you go run to get some beer. Got to get the beer, buddy. I'm gonna edit this up and wait for my buddy to come. Thanks so much for doing this. Right. I appreciate it. Yeah, your help. thanks for having me. It was it was a blast. And uh, right. by the way, fuck our show last week rocked. Dude, we had a we had a killer show on Thursday. It was oh weird. shoot, I didn't I didn't promote it at all here on the podcast at all. That's terrible of me. That's okay. That's all right. I'll do. I'll I'll make sure I make a note of that as well uh, in the show notes because our show was killer last week. Killer. <laughs> It nurse guide. I know. I'm looking forward to Thursday for sure. Me too. All right. Go do your thing. I'm going to do mine, man. We'll do. Take care, man. Cheers. Bye bye. Cheers. Big time. I'm gonna edit, edit the stuff up. All right, right, editing, good times. Right then. Uh, la, 